A good Saturday to everybody. It's Hunter in the WVUA 23 Weather Center. I'm getting set uh, for the news at 10 o'clock. That'll be uh, in about uh, two hours or so. It is 8.11 right now at the time of this update. And I am uh, going to go ahead and do a quick video update on the forecast. Get everybody uh, up to speed before the news tonight. Here's the live view out over Tuscaloosa. And we look at those colors off in the background. Got some pinks and purples out there. Of course, a very heavy uh, shower and some thunderstorm activities just pushed through uh, the Tuscaloosa area. And that really dropped our temperatures down. We're at 73 right now. Hit a high of 91 earlier this afternoon and uh, for the bulk of the afternoon here in Tuscaloosa it was dry and, and not a bad afternoon plenty of sunshine but then that thunderstorm moved through and uh, produced some pretty heavy rain across the Tuscaloosa area the temperatures elsewhere across the state right now it is 81 for Birmingham 83 in Anniston 76 it's the current temperature in Gadsden 76 as well for Coleman Haleyville 78 degrees right now here's the radar and you can see uh, the remnants of those showers that moved through the Tuscaloosa area not too long ago now down in uh, parts of uh, southern Tuscaloosa County so northern Marengo and uh, northern Greene County right now so some heavy rain at the time of this update for uh, Knoxville just south of uh, Ralph also the Moundville area seeing some uh, pretty heavy rainfall out there but uh, still a decent coverage of some showers and storms out there also some heavy rain uh, falling over parts of uh, Bibb Chilton County you can see uh, areas like Maplesville uh, uh, seeing some of the rainfall right now but the good news as we head through the next uh, couple of hours I think this activity gradually starts to wind down and by the time we get towards 11 o'clock tonight midnight I think uh, the vast majority of these showers and storms uh, should be uh, dissipating at that point but over East Alabama some rain over there as well kind of just north of the Anniston area right now uh, generally over parts of uh, Calhoun County Jacksonville seeing some rainfall right now also Piedmont could be impacting the I-20 corridor uh, here before too long so uh, we are still watching some of those showers and storms both over West Alabama and East Alabama uh, at the time of this update. We'll go ahead and uh, show you a bigger picture on the satellite and radar just so you can uh, see everything uh, all at once here and uh, again pretty decent coverage of showers and storms but these showers and storms gradually starting to die down as we head uh, over the next uh, couple of hours and into this overnight. So here's our high resolution rapid refresh one of the models we look at and you can see by 11 o'clock midnight, uh, the bulk of those showers and storms are uh, gone out of our hair. But here's a uh, future cast midnight tonight. Similar story, all those showers and storms. Uh, especially pushing south of us, but here across central Alabama, I think we'll be largely dry by the midnight hour and then uh, continuing to push towards tomorrow morning. I think we will be dry tomorrow morning. Temperatures generally in the 70s, 76, excuse me. At 8 a.m. for Tuscaloosa, 78 in Birmingham, 78 for uh, Pell City at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then for tomorrow, I think we'll have less coverage than what we had today as far as showers and storms are concerned. We'll drop the rain chance down uh, to about 20%. So uh, it looks like a pretty good day tomorrow, but we will start to crank the heat back up. We'll go the high of 94 uh, for Tuscaloosa for tomorrow. Then again, as we head towards the evening hours, most of those showers and storms dying off for tomorrow. Your forecast for tonight, 73 degrees, the overnight low, isolated showers and storms still in the forecast. I think most of that uh, wrapping up by the time we get towards uh, the midnight hour. Then for tomorrow, here's your forecast, 94, the afternoon high, isolated showers and storms still in the forecast. We'll keep the rain chance at around 20% for tomorrow. And your WVOA 23 News extended forecast. You can see for Monday, the rain chance staying down at around 20%, but the highs creeping on up 95 for Monday. Tuesday, an absolute scorcher, 97. And I actually think Tuesday has the best rain chances over the next few days, but that's not saying much. Still down at 30% even for Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, 98 for the afternoon high. The chance of rain staying down at around 20%. So the rain chances really start to dip off as we head into the work week, but the afternoon highs, those start to rise up into the upper 90s feels like temperature values could be up in the triple digits so summertime in full control here uh, across central Alabama as we head through the next week but that's it uh, for this updated it update excuse me just wanted to get everybody up to speed uh, before the news tonight at 10 if you could join me I would love if you tune in for WVOA 23 news at 10 and by the way if any of you snapped any pictures of the storms uh, earlier this afternoon or maybe you were just out enjoying some of the weather, send me some pictures on Twitter at Hunt underscore WX and I would love to show them on TV. Nobody wants to send me pictures, but if you could do so, I would really appreciate that and I'll get them on TV for you. But that's it for this update. Again, if you could join me on WVOA 23 News at 10, that would be great. If not, have a great weekend.